Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. One of the biggest factors to success in school is regular daily attendance. But unfortunately, daily attendance is one of those habits that students often let slide. So this week on Dateline Schools, as our kids head back to school for the start of the school year, we're going to learn some tips and advice on how to improve regular daily attendance as we talk to the Executive Director of Student Services for Portier and Schools, Tracy Eschenberg. And Tracy, how important is it for kids to be in school each and every day? It is critical that students are in school as much as possible and every day is our goal and we know that when they're not in school they're missing very important instruction that just can't be made up in homework or makeup work outside of that school day. And I know a lot of parents too think oh my child's only kindergarten or first grade it's okay to miss a few days but it's just as important for those kids to be in school as those kids looking forward to graduation at the end of the year. Absolutely. Kindergarten, first grade are probably the most important times to really establish those habits for regular school attendance. We know that students are starting those routines and, and lifelong habits at that early age. And uh, research shows that one in 10 kindergarten and first grade students miss 18 days or more of school in the year. And those students that are missing that large chunk of time over the course of those two years miss up to 200 or more hours of instruction. And that's critical at those early stages where they're really learning the foundations for reading and math and all of those critical skills. And my guess is as those kids get older too, that makes it even much more difficult for them to be successful in the classroom. Absolutely. Again, it's uh, research shows that students that have a chronic attendance issue find a hard time reading at grade level by the end of third grade and we know that that sets a tone for all of those later grades if their reading skills are not where they need to be by the end of third grade. Now you just mentioned a word that's kind of interesting we don't hear a lot, chronic absence. What's that? So the state of Michigan defines chronic absence as 10 or more school days in a year and that kind of combines all of those things whether they're excused or unexcused just the number of days absent and different school districts will look at that number a little bit differently but that's the definition that the state of Michigan uses and how they collect data for the state and nationally. We'll be back with more tomorrow for Dayline Schools. I'm Terry. Hunter.